Hibs start the match in brilliant sunshine looking to get their first victory in eight matches they've gone seven matches without a win including those two cup ties against East Fife when they failed to score and Dundee United have suffered a blow before the match Eamon Bannon has failed a fitness test and an injured ankle so he's out of the side it'll be interesting to see which midfield formation we see with Holt and Kirkwood liable to play in that area of the field but it's a bit more familiar up front for Dundee United Davy Dodds there is you know, the top scorer of the season he's been joined in attack by Paul Sturrock who missed out on virtually the whole of the first half of the season through injury and Hibs have young Paul Kane playing with the number 8 jersey and they have Bobby Thompson playing perhaps his last match before a lengthy suspension in the number 10 jersey and that injury to Alan Ruff has let Robin Ray, the 20-year-old youth in the National, make his league debut in goal. The referee this afternoon, Mr. William McLeish from Stonehouse. Played in by Callaghan. The header of Willie Irvin. Fine goalkeeping by McAlpine, but Willie Irvin showing his menace to United defence very early on. The flighty free kick from Callaghan. Irvin coming in from the far corner of the box, leaping above everyone else. The downward header, and that's good goalkeeping. They're going to be waiting for it. And Jim McLean has answered the questions about the technical formation by playing what a small pass wide on the left in the Eamon Bannon role. There's Milne looking for the chance to cross. Good play from Milne. It's took an arm all right. Ralph Milne looking for a penalty kick. It came off Ali Brazil, but the referee, I think, correctly deciding that the ball played the man. Sturrock. Laying it on for Holt. Kane is there. And there's Richard Goff. David Odd stayed onside. And Duncan Duell getting back. He didn't get a touch, so that's a Hibbs goal kick. defence well, he's always anxious to have a go at goal that's why he's the top scorer in the country this season with 20 goals the header from Jimison there he playing it square Kirkwood has support from behind from Hegarty Duncan now looking for Irvin. Great return ball to Duncan. This is promising for Hibbs. Stark with kicks, but he did enough to put Callaghan off. And that was a bit dodgy in the heart of that United defence. The pace of Duncan almost getting Hibbs away. And the cross posing problems for United. He's almost judges it. Good layoff from Milne to Dodds. Ralph Milne cashing in now. Shadler losing it to Holt. Faint appeals for a penalty, waved aside by the referee. The Holt is still on the ground in the box, but it's a free kick outside the box for United. Some hectic action as Robin Ray came off his line, but didn't get to the ball. A bit of a misunderstanding. Ralph Milne almost made Hibbs pay. So Ray organising his wall. An opportunity now for Dundee United. Neri over the ball. Milne to the right. Goff is also waiting behind David Neri. Stuck in the wall. There's Goff. Well charged down by Callaghan. He made a lot of ground to get to Richard Goff. Pass. Sturrock was offside. Touched on by Callaghan for Irvin. Sturden coming up on the outside in support. Sturden playing it in. That's Higgery's clearing header. Now 
Irvin. Jamison marking dodds again. Breaks for Holt. Shot blocked by Blackley. It might have fallen for Paul Sturrock had Blackley not intercepted. It's for Irvin to chase, but Hegarty has enough pace. Malpass, Milne switching across to the left flank, as for Malpass, beautiful sleight of foot, and excellent goalkeeping from Robin Ray, now that was football to Sabre, just look at the way Malpass takes his pass inside, resist the temptation of the first time shot, beautiful bit of footwork, excellent shot, and that will do Robin Ray a lot of good. And that very confident catch from Robin Ray will also help to settle him down. Sturrock screening the ball from... Was well supported that time by Kirkwood. Sturrock wants it back. Still has Kirkwood on the outside. There's Goff. Well, it's very interesting to see how United now are getting their back players into the box. This time it was Richard Goff. A moment ago it was Paul Hegarty. and that's what John Blackley's been so good at over the years spotting danger points in his defence and coming across the cover with control from Sturrock Milne touched it on, Milne again and once again Ray to the rescue of Hibbs well that was United at their attacking best down to Sturrock initially with a brilliant turn on the far side pulling the ball back, Milne get a touch then Dodds get on the end of it Milner the first time shot and what about that for a save from Robin Ray. Malpass playing it forward. Here's Kane. Threading the ball through the United defence but too far ahead of Willie Irvin. Some confusion there among the Hibs defenders. The ball fighting its way to Paul Sturrock. The quick turn, the instant shot, and Ray was down very quickly again. Stark forcing it forward. The shadeless students. Now Sneddon. Collected by Goss. Immediately Sturrock makes a wide run which was matched all the way by Brazil. Now Holt. Goff up with the attack. There's David Dodds. And Dodds appeared to be looking for the chance to go down. So a United throw in on the far side. It'll be taken by John Holt. Goff may well be the target. Here he is in the box with Blackley. And that's a corner kick. Ralph Milne with the kick. Goff is there. Headed on by David Odds. Well, the Hibs 
defence has looked dangerously and that goal has been coming for some time. The corner kick caused the trouble from Ralph Bill. Goff put his head to it, Dodd's nodded it on, Ray with it seen, the ball came off the crossbar and there was the United captain Paul Higgery to turn the ball in. Here's Irvin. Good run from Kane. Looking for support in the middle. Irvin and Callaghan are there. McAlpine coming for the ball. Taking it well despite the pressure from Snedden. And half time whistle goes. United depart with a slender one goal lead. But the fact that they're not further ahead goes down to the performance of young Robin Ray in goal. He had a couple of marvellous saves. One from Morris Malpass, then one from Ralph Milne. But he could do nothing about the goal. Four minutes from half time scored by Paul Hegarty. The corner kick on the right, headed on by Goff towards Dodds. Off the crossbar, Hegarty was waiting. And that's the goal which gives United that precious half-time lead. The last time United tasted defeat was back in November when they lost to Aberdeen. They played six times since then and they haven't lost. And they're on course once again going with evidence of that first half for extension of that run. Hibs have a substantial task ahead because they've gone seven matches out of win and in that, spe that spell they haven't managed to score more than one goal in any game. The last victory was 3-0 at Den's Park against Dundee early in December. So to win this match they'll have to find the net twice and the honest they didn't look like doing that too often in the first half. They started well enough, defended well but whenever United started to push there back four players forward to join the attack Hibs began to struggle so Morris Malpass with a free kick looking for Hegarty in the box too high for Hegarty and Thompson and Goff can't retreat Milne playing it back there's Kane Stopped in his tracks by Stark. O'Neary coming in with a boot up and he's definitely trying to play the ball but they did no good at all for Ralph Callaghan although he's happily back on his feet. There's Stark making progress on the left and it's turned behind by Blackley. One of those sweeping moves by United from the back. Putting the Hibs defence to full stretch. Played in by Milne. There's Hegarty, blocked by Ray. Now Holt, the start, the Hibs defence racing out. Dodds was offside. But once again, a fine stop on the goal line by Robin Ray. Reflexes, very sharp indeed. That snap header, he had no time at all to see it, but he still they kept it out. Turning right into Shadler. Okay. Hibbs pull back going across the bows of Kirkwood. Last second, they pull back this afternoon. He spent most of his time in midfield, Derek Shadler. As his good pull there play again from Malpass. Still going all the way himself. And fine goalkeeping from Robin Ray, but what a run it was from Morris Malpass. Well, I mentioned his confidence in the ball. He was a long, surging run, full of conviction, skill, pace, courage, and finishing with a fine shot, which Ray blocked well. inside, it was cut off by Morris Malpass so once again United begin the build up from the back 
Higgety preferring the long ball from McAlpine this time. Seek out David Odds up front. There's Milne. Kirkwood's in the middle, leaving it. Malpass! So, Morris Malpass surely now makes the game safe for United. It was a long ball from McAlpine, which set it all up. Dodds and Jimison tangling, the ball broke through to Milne. A good header, sensibly left by Kirkwood. And there was Malpass with that killing volley, which left Ray helpless. Good layoff from Thompson to Duncan. Gordon Ray. Looking for Thompson at the near post, who is well covered by Neri. There's Richard Goff. Sturrock knocking it down towards Kirkwood. Rolling away from both Kirkwood and Goff. Arthur Duncan. Callaghan free in the right. Duncan testing Callaghan's pace, but he had enough. Holt back in the box defending. There's shade there for Hibbs. McAlpine's committed himself and he takes it to me. Kick out from McAlpine, Callaghan playing it forward for Ray, but he's well offside. Played forward by Hegarty, looking for Sturrock. Duncan did well, getting that before John Holt and releasing Thompson on the left. He's got lots of power, that strike gets going. Well, he didn't get properly for the left foot shot 